Hello everyone, welcome to yet again another episode of Cat Quest. I'm not even sure how long it's how long it's gonna be till we get to episode fifty. But since I'm churning it out faster than a faster than um I don't know, an American tourist um after their trip from Mexico I'm evacuating their bowels from after a trip to Mexico. I don't know. I don't know how I was going with this metaphor. Well, let's just talk to Arissa for now. It's knowing you about your past, you know. Because I've done it for you. Are you ready to hear it? Sure. I wasn't always who I am now. Wanderer, cut purse. I had a home once. Oak Shore. A great estate just north of Hammerfield. Hmm. The mild winters led to bountiful harvests every year, which made us very wealthy. I was raised to be every bit the nobleman's daughter. We sold crops to the man. Empire and the Alvinary Dominion Legend. for years. One day, my father was approached by a Thalmor official named Vidra. That day, he wanted to buy more than crops. They wanted to buy Oakshore itself. What did your father say? He refused. <coughs> Oakshore was our home, our hmm. paradise. He wasn't about to let anyone take it from us. But Oakshore was too important to Well, the Dominion, unfortunately, got their way. let them keep tabs on Hammerfell. Hmm. So Vidra made a plan. He harassed my father day and night. Hmm. Then, he sent Gunnar to pose as Stormcloaks who would protect my father from the Thalmor. For a price. Gunnar's men began causing trouble, stealing, hurting people. I knew paying Gunnar was a mistake. Oh, my that man we shot? He told no or I killed in a moment. He was accepting help from the Stormcloaks. He knew <clears throat> what that would do to us if the Empire ever found out. One night, I followed one of Gunnar's men to a farmer's house. He barged in, demanding ale and bread. Then he tried to touch the farmer's house. Oh, what, what, you chopped his head off or something? Things got yes. ugly? He fought back. He didn't win. I watched through the window as Gunnar's mm. lapdog just slaughtered them both. Jeez. I ran as fast as I could. Mm. I hid nearby as all of Oakshore gathered at the farmer's house, yelling and demanding answers. I decided that this had gone on long enough. I stepped forward and told everyone who murdered hmm. the farmer, and that we had sided with the storm folks to try and hold hmm. on to our land. The they then the Thalmor just took everything down? And my family. Or something else. Collaboration with the storm folks. Vidric seized Oakshore, claiming imperial right. Vidric won. Everything that happened was according to his plan. Why didn't they arrest they you? Believe me. I escaped and fled to Skyrim, where I began wandering from village to village. I was angry, confused, betrayed. I'm glad that Oakshore I'm and my family were so everything to me, and now they were gone because of me. Oh, can't blame yourself. Try telling that to an 18-year-old girl who just lost everything. Trust me, I could blame myself plenty, and I have for a long time. That was 10 years ago. For 10 years, I wandered Skyrim. I've done things I'd never dreamed of doing just to survive. And then I met you. You showed me what it means to have a purpose. To have hope again. Huh. To bring hope to others who need it most. So thank you. <laughs> My life would be very different had you not walked up to Valkyrie that day. And with these documents, Oakshore might one day be ours again. Who knows? You might even get a chance to see it one day. Huh. What else so, did you want to talk about? Uh, it now regards you distantly, okay. So what's next for us? There's always a dungeon <laughs> waiting to be delved somewhere in Skyrim. With as much trouble Any ideas as you, I go? never have time to <laughs> get bored. So <clears throat> don't even <throat> think about not bringing me along. What else did you want to talk about? Oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Well, now that her regards increased for me slight has now gone to distant, I think I might be able to give her, you know, I think I might be able to trade with trade items with her finally. Hmm. Beyond the now, the butcher could be around. What the shall we do? Hmm. Arissa's pro storm cloak. Don't know if Teldrin is, but we did recently bring a new guy with us, Stenvar, new adventurer, big two-handed tank in our group. Arissa's the thief. Teldrin's the spell sword. Not and everything in between. Fandal is still chilling in Riverwood. He he's yeah. He's, I've seen almost all the use I can. I, I I've gotten all the use I can out of him. 
I'd be out there fighting the Imperials right now if it wasn't for my mm. war wound. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. House of the Kings. Should I? Should I join with the Stormcloaks now? No, no, no. I'll join with them later. What time is it? 7-Eleven. I guess I'll rent a room at the end. Gotta get some rest. Oh yeah, I forgot. Still in this per save. Yeah, fuck it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. God, why? Alright, back. I don't even know why entering dialogue with Stenvar even happened. I guess I forgot to, you know, recruit him. Because I did. Like, like, last episode. Um, if you're looking to hire my blade is sharp and I thirst for battle. Onward, then. Alright, let's go, Stenvar. A new member joins us. We got a dog, we got a dark elf, we got a Nord, and I think another Nord. I can't remember if uh, Arissa is an, is an Imperial or. I think she's a Nord. How can Elda hate the dark elves when she knows so little about them? If you ever get the chance, whoa! It's beyond the lookout. The butcher could be around any course. Well, I guess I'll get my room. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Oh, jeez. Right I don't way. know what I got right now. Oh, the, what the heck. Weird hiccup stuff. It's like anything will cause a crash. I swear, like, if I fucking breathe on this game, I'm, it's gonna crash. Ugh. Let me know if there's anything else you need. I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now I'm retired. Move over! I'm a sailor on the north every night. Jeez, why are you guys gathering around my goddamn room? And you're pushing my dog! My own Hallefrost farm out there. Move the hell over! Jeez, the nerve of some people. <laughs> well, now let's we'll, we'll snoop around the city a little more, then we'll go to Kynesgrove. I can't remember if the relic mint faction places actually in Windhelm. I can't remember. But I think it is. It's around here somewhere. Now that's actually light out, I can hopefully look for it. Whoa, doggy. Ooh, doggy. What the? Oh, for a second I thought that game was like, my game was like on the brink of crashing. The Iotalos was a fine ship once. Hmm. Now it lies wrecked with an island just north of here. Hmm? What shit? I have Talos. It says Pride Telvos. Not I have Talos. What? Um, strange. Our journey's been quite rewarding so far. Hopefully you will mind sharing this place. My job's simple enough. The dead don't really complain much. Uh, whatever. So. Let's keep looking. Dulls told you. And what might you need? Hmm? Mm. Nothing for... Nothing Safe to seems to be... Doing. Level... Atheron? Hmm. You need anything, come see me. I'm as resourceful as I am discreet. Huh, where do you get your Wherever goods? I can find if you're the type who worries over where something hmm. came from, you may want to move on. Uh, you live in the Great Quarter? I'm a dark elf, and I live in Windhelm. 
So yes, I live in the Grey Quarter. You must be new around here. Hmm. Or you'd know they don't let my kind live anywhere outside that slum. Be sure to stop by Sadri's used wares in the Grey Quarter. Oh, cruelty. <gasps> there it is! There's no glory. Relic Mint. It's just something they tell soldiers. Relic Mint Hall. Ooh, I was right about being in Windhelm. <sighs> they call me a war hero. I'm mm -hmm. no hero. Just yes, yes, Bronwolf. Didn't want to die. Ah, hello. What do you need? Looks border. Mm -hmm. Who would I talk to? I'm in the Relic Mint Hall. Are you interested in joining the Relic Mint? Ah, uh, there's no voice acting, only in subtitles. Oh, well. Relic Mint, I guess. You're looking for your new guild form of minimum or goals to understand the new Black Diamond Pack, Black Diamond Pack activity in Skyrim. Hmm. This is semi well made, but there's very little voice. There's like no voice acting. These bandits have not seen, seen for a long time, and they call action, see if they're planning. Join us to find out what their plan is and their criminal activity. Are you interested in joining the relic? Yes, I already said that. I think the dialogue here is supposed to be built around older games like Oblivion. I will join. In the guild, you may rest here in the guild in the skilled hall whenever you like. But as you may see, decor in the hall is well lacking. I'll read the subtitles, I guess. It's first assigned for you. I would like to go to this cave which is a wooden home called Cliffside Cave. Uh, I know there's an orcish axe bringing this axe to, to the guild. I have other guild members going out and collecting relics. Uh huh. Don't worry, you're not working to get me relics to, so I can get rich. This is training so you can handle yourself in the wilderness of Skyrim. Listen, dude, if I was able to get all the way over here, you should expect me to, you know, be good at my, my job of, you know, existing and surviving in the land of Skyrim. So. Started fit for duty. Hi. The orcish axe. Hilf. Hmm. Orcish axe. Side cave. Yeah, I think the um the the way the it's kind of structured is just because of the. I think it's just structured um somewhat weirdly just because the. I guess there's no voice acting. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks, but that's okay. It seems like an interesting and promising mod that adds a f almost real bona fide new faction. That feels like it could have been there all, all along, provided there was, you know, voice acting. But, and yeah, just some advice to the modder, if Mr. Modern Man, if you are watching this, I don't know if you think you could find a way. If you could find a way to, um, I don't know, maybe find some voice actors or something, you could. You could, maybe you could do that. It does break immersion a little bit, and I would like voice acting, but your mod seems very promising. I have to keep looking. Fit for duty, retrieve the orcish axe. Cave's over there, so... Hmm. Well, first we need to head off to Kynes Grove. Much shorter trek. Well, let's go. We'll leave these cities walls for now. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm, I'm 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 tired. I shouldn't have taken the those that melatonin uh, this this early in the n at night. So right now it's uh like it's it's uh seven. It's nearly seven o'clock at night right now, and it's a school night. And so on school nights, I usually take a medicine that helps me sleep. And unfortunately, I shouldn't have taken it right then and there. I should have just waited a little bit more until, like at least now, like seven o'clock instead. Of, Taking it at goddamn 6.30. Had a half day of school, so I was able to mostly f screw around for a, good for a while. And my game decided to crash or crash. Just fucking have an aneurysm. Well, I don't know why, but I half expected that. No one expects the Skyrim crashquisition. 
Okay, that was a horrible that was a horrible Monty Python reference. I'm sorry. <sighs> you should know this. You li he lives in that city over there. Go look there. Open your damn eyes. If you're f unless you're blind or you can't see through that damn helmet of yours. I'm all ears. Well, I guess I'll have to take the cannonball route. Huh. Ooh. Huh. I thought I'd die from that. Surprising. I see if going across the goddamn river is going to help anything. Or am I just going to crash again and see my fucking wallpaper for the hundredth time? Instead of playing Skyrim and having some damn fun and... Having the game be nice. Instead of the game not being very cash money. Yeah, I've never been up on this road, I believe. I think I've only been on this road, like, once. I think that was during that really short video, just the Left for Skyrim one. You know what I'm talking about. I was going to do some... Oh, what the shit! I swear to God. Why have why has Todd Howard forsaken me? God damn it! No mods that I can find can fix this, and I don't think I can really uninstall the some more. I just can't. It's just not possible. Or maybe it's just my fucking potato PC. Like everyone says, funny, funny, me have potato PC, funny, funny. <laughs> well, I love this game, but one of the reasons why I don't play it often is just because of the crash paranoia the PC version's given me. Like that, motherfuckers! You can't fucking work, can you, you goddamn game? <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna try and use the magic of console commands to teleport my way to Kynes Grove. Let's try it. COC. I think it worked. <laughs> nice. My plan. <laughs> It worked! My teleportation machine worked! Uh, but Delphine ain't here. Uh... What is everyone scared about again? Hmm. What's wrong? Your head's just spazzing out. She's not answering, she's just spazzing. Answer me, you spazzing buffoon! Hmm. I'll look in the end. Uh, no one's here. Hmm. I guess that gives me the opportunity to rob the place blind, right? Right? <laughs> no, you don't want to go out <gasps> there. A dragon, it's attacking. Uh, dragons attacking Kinesgrove? No, not yet. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Um, okay. Finally, you're here, Delphine. I thought the quest was broken. <laughs> My God. I saw this boat in half. You know, Flex Seal is an amazing product. If you feel I guess everyone's holding up in the mine. Wait, don't come with us, Idra. You're gonna get yourself murdered. Uh, yeah, wise woman, wise woman, go ahead, die out in the cold. I'm Bill Swift here for Flex Seal. 
Ah, Dolphin! No hit. Mm. Oh my god. Ah! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Ah! Die, 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 die. Die, die, fucking die. Ah! I'm gonna kill you before your flesh can even reform. That's a lot of damage. You did it. Too easy, baby. It's happening. God's above. What? So you really are Dragon Ball. God's above. Look at that. Uh-huh. Yes, Delphine, we know the dragon is dead. And the dragon crashed my game as a final act of revenge. <sighs> as you can tell, I am losing my sanity. Due to the goddamn crashes. This is Crash Chaos 4, motherfuckers. Or 5. Who the fuck knows, honestly. Three, two, one. Oh. Too late. Mm, all right, let's just sprint. I'm faster than you. <laughs> Race you to the dragon mound. Yeah, you know what? Now I look at it. Now is not the time to pick some berries. Actually, no. I do have time to pick mushrooms off of rotting logs. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, making, uh, making, collecting mushrooms is more important than killing a dragon. Oh, no. I saw this boat in half! <sighs> yeah, 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 I know that. We should really be... Salukunir. Zil Kuroto Fabalsa. Hmm. Oh boy. There he is! I can't fucking even. You know what? I am fucking done. We do this bullshit later. Fuck this shitty computer. God damn it. As you can tell, my sanity is gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Please subscribe. I need the goddamn money to make my computer better.